Manchester City assistant manager and he received a welcome from Ashton Gate fans that reflected the season of goodwill. For 66 minutes, Gorman watched another shot-shy City performance. Then Matt Bryant opened the door with a real blockbuster. It was Ashton Gate's goal of the season and soon City were 2-0 up through Wayne Allison's less spectacular but just as precious header. With the pressure off, City gave their long-suffering fans a real Christmas tonic. Junior Bent burst into life on the right wing and his electrifying break set up the third for Allison. There was still time for Stokes' Ian Cranston to grab a consolation goal, but at last there's a chink of light for Joe Jordan and the Ashton Gate faithful. A bit dicey for City when Stoke went ahead through Keith Scott, his first goal since his move from Swindon. In the 71st minute, City's junior Bent sent the tie into extra time, blasting past ex-City keeper Ronnie Sinclair. Three minutes into extra time, and Ian Baird, in for the cup-tied Robert Fleck, gave Joe Jordan a pleasant selection problem by snatching the second. And Brian Tinian, who scored the winner against Liverpool last season, set the seal on the fight back with a last-minute extra time strike. In the first 45 minutes against Stoke, I don't think they, they played and did themselves justice. Uh, we had a discussion on that and how we to, to rectify it. And, and they did, they put it right and they got themselves back in the game. Naturally getting a goal from Junior Ben or getting a goal of any sort uh, helps, but Junior's was a, was a terrific goal and I think that gave the, the team...